All right, so we're at IBM, and you have this uh, cell processor now on the market. Right. right. Uh, so um, it's, in certain ways, it's more powerful than uh, anything else, right? Yes, in certain ways, definitely. So what you see here is a wafer of cell chips. It's a 300 millimeter wafer with about 220 cell chips on it. And you see one single die on, on the top of that sand hill. Um, so that has about 250 million transistors on 220 square millimeters. It has nine cores, which is very rem remarkable. Um, we get a performance of about 200 gigaflops uh, out of that. That's a 10x advantage over other single core uh, uh, processors. 10x? Is not more than that also? Well, it's 10x um, in general on if you measure by gigaflops. Yeah. Uh, depending on the application, it can be up to 50x performance advantage. So, so we have certain applications that really show a 50x yeah. advantage. So for certain applications, it's 10 to 50 times faster than anything Intel or AMD in single core. Yeah, on a single core, yes. Yeah. So on a, on a dual core, it's still 30 times faster. Yeah? Yes. And now they also have the quad cores, so it's a little so, bit... They're trying to catch up. Yeah, they're trying to catch up. Way. Let's do the math, and yeah? but we're still a good deal faster. And then you have uh, some software so yes. to, to use the core, uh, to use the cell. To use the core. I mean, first of all, what we do with that core is we build blade servers. I mean, yeah? the, the, the cell processor will be in the next PlayStation. It is in the PlayStation 3, right? It is in the PlayStation 3, and IBM is more pushing in the server market. So what we see here is a cell blade. We have one cell chip in here and another cell chip below that heatsink. So the second heatsink is missing just to show, thing, to show things. We have some memory um, directly on the board, uh, some I.O. chips, and that whole thing is a whole computer. Yeah, so that, that's, for now it's just a server. It's a server, it's a blade server, and you yeah. plug that into a blade center chassis. So we can get 14 of them in just 6U of 19-inch rack space. So right. it's a very good compute density. So it's very high, it's like a supercomputer. Yeah, it's I mean. a supercomputer in really in a box. And uh, certain companies could have a lot of them, or it's Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah. I mean, they're really scalable. You can connect them using InfiniBand, yeah. Gigabit Ethernet, so the, the technology... So how, how long time have you been shipping the cell processor? Um, the cell processor, I mean, the first product out of the cell processor um, went GA, we call that GA generally yeah. available, uh, last year, so in 2006. Um, and, and the Blade Server was the first commercial product available in the market using the cell processor. All right. So before the PlayStation 3, you had the cell the blade. The blade we had the cell blades out there in the right. market. And so what we have running on that is Linux as yeah. the operating system. Now the challenge for Linux on cell is to really make the resources available to the applications. I mean, you have nine cores. One of the cores is a PowerPC core, and we have eight dedicated cores for compute-intensive tasks. All right. So Linux there is running... There you have Linux there? Yeah, we have Linux yeah. running um, on the blades, and we have also a few applications. Um, so Linux will make these cores available to applications, yeah. and then applications have to be multi-threaded, and, and distribute the load on the different cores. Right. Now, for instance, what we do here, I mean, as it's in the PlayStation, it's ideally suited for you know, stuff like graphics, or a physics engine, or ray tracing. The, the car we see over there is, um, is rendered on four cell blades. On four blades? On four blades, that means eight processors. But it's an HD TV. It's 30 frames per second, and you see the lighting models. Oh, it's really accurate. So, in principle, this is uh, this is eight times more uh, better quality than the PlayStation 3. Uh, it should be, or you said you use eight, eight chips. We use eight chips, and in terms of uh, yeah, I mean the scalability is very good for ray tracing in general because the algorithm scales yeah. very well. So yes, that would be the result of eight. Because cell PlayStation chips. 3 only has one, no? Only one chip. Only one chip. Yeah. But on a blade you have two. On a blade we have two and four yeah. blades, so we have eight chips doing that image. In real time? In real time, 30 frames per second HDTV yeah. resolution. Do you know if there's, a, since you released the blade, if there's been an update in the actual chip, or is it just the same for now? It's all the same chip. Um, there is a roadmap. We just saw the production of 65 nanometers. 
yeah. cell chip. Um, and the road map goes to 45 nanometers. Because right now, what is the nanometer you're using? 90. 90? Yeah. So you announced the 65? Yeah, the, uh, we are just starting up production with 65 starting. nanometer. Yes. And so how will that help, do you know? Is it something to do with the gigahertz or the amount of cores maybe? Or um, is it not announced? 65, no, the, it just gets smaller, which has two advantages. First of all, it, it'll get cheaper because yeah. we get on the same wafer, we get more chips. And second of all, it has less power consumption. So you have to do less cooling. Less cooling. So that are the two yeah. big advantages of that. Because uh, uh, what you call big server farms use a lot of power and uh, yeah. it heats a lot and stuff. Yes, definitely. Right. Um, now, when, when you do things in terms of, you know, if you measure things relative to flops per watt, yeah. if you take that as a unit, um, then cell has a very good ratio. And yeah. that will still improve. Because Cell uses more power than Intel chip? No, because Cell um, can do more calculations with the same power. Yeah? Yes. But uh, right now, uh, Cell is using more power? Well, we have not published any, any performance consumption numbers, so okay. I, I, I'm sorry I can't tell you that. All right. So this is Linux, and IBM is investing a lot in Linux. Yes. We are yeah. trying to create a very open ecosystem. Um, together with our partner Sony and Toshiba, we're trying to open up the space, so we have made available publicly parts of the firmware. We are doing. We are very strong in the Linux market and invite partners to join development. We have published libraries, low-level libraries, to use Cell. We have shown um, samples in open source that demonstrate how you can get a 50x performance advantage for fast Fourier transformations, as for instance. Right. Uh, other samples um, we have published all the documentation for the processor, you know, instruction set and so on. Yeah. So all parts of the firmware, you say? And even parts of the firmware are yeah. open Not source. Not all? Not all. Um, there are certain parts that underlie intellectual property rights, so we're yeah. not able to publish everything. But for things we have the rights on, we publish that. Ah, because some parts maybe is not IBM's property. In terms of IP, yes. Yeah? So I IBM just opens everything of its own? Uh, we're try yes, we're trying to, you know, using using open source, yeah. we can we can attract a lot of interest yeah. and, and a lot of partners uh, that join development. Right. It's like like an avalanche. It, it just gets yeah. faster and faster the more partners join yeah. development. But uh, as a user, you can't. Okay, could you just buy one blade? Uh, yeah, you, sure. Normally, it's not really that. No, it's bigger corporations right well, now. Usually, you would buy more. Uh, I'm, it really depends on what you want to do. But right. certainly, I mean, you can buy one blade. Because the IBM hasn't announced yet, uh, like uh, releasing Linux boxes with a blade chip inside or anything. It's not yet an, uh, announced. Uh, what boxes? Like uh, you know, consumer, consumer. Uh, okay, stuff. no. Right, right now we're only in the in the blade server market. The blade server. Yeah, targeting yeah. Uh, server applications. Yeah. Could you show a little bit how it looks the software? Absolutely. So um, on top of on top of Linux, we have applications running. Um, right. Just on the big screen, we have a ray tracer running. Then we have a fluid dynamics simulation that is sort of a wind tunnel. And um, so that has been calculated on the cell. Um, we have um, a really cool demonstration doing finite elements. So, and this is a bridge, and when, when doing calculations on that bridge, for instance, a truck is on that bridge. Um, you can simulate that by putting weight on the bridge, and that means a force pressing on the bridge. And um, let's do that. Um, we put some weight on the bridge, and we do calculations. And that is exactly the application which is, you know, 50 times faster than a single core x86 platform. Nice. And we can put a second truck on that. And I, I now click on compute, and now the image is there. So it's really interactive, and that opens up new dimensions in engineering. You know, these tasks have have taken hours and, and went overnight yeah. previously, and, and by the performance advantage we're getting out of the cell chip, we're now opening up a new era of development um, because engineers can interactively, you know, design their bridge and, and see, okay, what I did went into the right direction or went in the wrong direction, and so it's really a new way of developing things. Do you know if the PlayStation has some software like this we could just install? Well, that would probably run on the PlayStation as well. 
because could, Linux will, could, is running on the PlayStation, so... So people could have some kind of software like this and... Yeah, no problem on a, on a, on a PC. If Sony only, opens and, it. And that only runs on one cell chip right now. So the speed up we get is, is only on one cell one chip. Cell. I mean, this is another application. It, it simulates an air conditioning and flow in, in an air conditioning. It's just another example uh, from one of our partners that show that programming cell is is not so hard and um, you can if you do it right you can get a huge performance advantage. Alright. Okay thanks. Thank you.